What's up? Today we're playing in round four of the official Smogon tournament. The winner will get a thousand dollars. It's a very big tournament. In fact, it's the biggest tournament. And we're going to lead off with a team built around Banded Kartana. And this is a team I really like because it has a surprise factor. Typically, you're going to see Scarf Kartana and Banded or Shifu, but we're switching it up. We're using Scarf or Shifu and Banded Kartana. So it's going to be a lot of surprise factor. And that's what I'm really going to be counting on right now. I'm hoping the surprise factor can carry the team. So looking at the matchup, I feel like Sloking looks pretty good. Uh, you know, Flamethrower, Scald, Sludge Bomb hits everything. Two Fairy types. So Sloking will have a good matchup. I'm... See, the Zapdos Galar can be annoying. Uh, but I do have Garchomp with Protect. I could lead Urshifu Rapid. I don't want to lead Scarf Urshifu into uh, Scarf Zapdos and just get one hit KO'd. Uh, Banded Cart is good for getting chip damage. Honestly, I'm not sure what to lead. I don't even know. It could be like Defog Lando. Defog Lando, Stealth Rock, Heatran, Spike, Pharaoh. It's honestly so tough to tell. Let's say he leads Tapu Koko. Can Urshifu Rapid knock it out? Tapu Koko. And then Urshifu Rapid uh, custom set. So we don't even knock it out. So it's not good to reveal the Scarf too early. Is Garchomp a good lead? I feel like Garchomp could be a very good lead. Let's lead Garchomp to anti-lead. It's not really an anti-lead, but we can Toxic. Okay, so we did get the good lead. Ooh, we didn't get a good lead. It is Air Balloon Heatran. Okay. This is not a good lead. Should we get Stealth Rock up? I feel like... I feel like getting Stealth Rock up is okay because we can protect to stall out Magma. Ooh, this is really a tough situation to be in. We could go to Urshifu on a Magma Storm and then U-turn. This is a really tough situation to be in with that Air Balloon Heatran. I wonder if he'll get scared out because he doesn't know, you know, that we don't have, you know, a dragon move or something, right? Will, will he get scared out? Uh, let's Stealth Rock. Maybe he'll get scared. He's not scared, okay? Stealth Rock trade, okay. Magma Storm incoming. And I don't really have a switch in. I can use Urshifu Rapid and you turn on, for example, a Pharaoh switch, I guess, but yeah, this is definitely going to be tricky. Like, the Magma Storm is definitely incoming. Do I need health on Urshifu? I kind of don't, right? We'll go to Urshifu Rapid on a Magma Storm here. Um, it, maybe they'll go to, I think you definitely Magma Storm here. Let's see what they do. Okay, they go to Lando. Um, they don't know I'm Scarf. I feel like U-Turn is always my play. If they're really gutsy and they try and stay in, I'm okay with that because I can go to Corv on a U-Turn. And then even if they go to Zap as Tapu Koko, I do have Sloking Galar. So I'm going to U-Turn on the Pharaoh switch, okay? Critical hit is nice. I do reveal that I am not Choice Bandit. Do I go to Sloking Galar with the Flamethrower? I feel like... I can go Sloking Galar and then Scald predicting a switch. I can get aggressive like that. But is that worth it though? Uh, Weavile looking good. I, I think we can go to Sloking now. We should outspeed, I believe. Let's double check. Do we outspeed? Sloking Galar, DT, Pharaoh, Thorn... Yeah, we do outspeed. Okay, so the question is, do we flamethrower or do we scald predicting a switch? I I don't know what to make of him right now. I don't know is he going to predict me? Is he does what is he does he know what he's doing? I'm not sure. He could just go Lando, right? I'm gonna make a predict. I'm going to scald predicting a switch. There we go. He's gonna go Lando. Please give us a scald burn. How much are we doing? Forty one. No burn, unfortunately. We could... Uh, you know, I'm just going to go Corv. It's not worth the risk. Yeah, see? Because he could have Earthquaked, he could have U-turned. I did not want to risk it. Now we're going to get our free U-turn up. And it's looking actually kind of good right now. Let's see what he goes to, though. He goes to Coco. We're going to U-turn. See, now I want to see, can I bluff Cartana? So does Cartana one-hit KO Coco? Why are the names so trash? I don't know what any of these mean. Cartana... Plane, is it? Yeah. So Plane does not one-hit KO, so I can't really bluff it. 
we'll go to Floking and we'll get the guaranteed good thing to happen, which is Future Sight. Future, Future Sight is going to be really good at uh, basically keeping damage up. Also, I could Scald, right? There is no Scald switch in. Yeah, there's no Scald switch in. I could actually Scald. Okay, please give us a Scald Burn or a one-hit KO. Scald. There we go. Really good stuff. Now you go to Zapdos Galar. I don't have a switch in. So we'll go to Garchomp. Okay, how much are we taking now? U-turn, okay. Uh, let's calc that damage. Zapdos, Galar, Choice Banded, Garchomp. Let's go down to our EV spread here. Um, This is not the right EV spread. How much HP do I have? 420. So... U-turn doing 27. Um... I have defense too. So this was a banded U-turn, it looks like. It looks like this is a banded U-turn. Tapu Fini comes in. It is leftovers. This could either be Calm Mind Tapu Fini, or it could be like a Trapping Whirlpool Moonblast set. I feel like I go to Kartana. Okay, let's see if it works out for me. Okay, he goes to Zapdos Galar, and this is banded. We did find out. So... Can I, can I lure it with Aerial Ace? Um, Leaf Blade is doing 57. Let's try and lure it with Aerial Ace here. I feel like, okay, that's fine too. You're going to Pharaoh, how much are we doing here? 27. Maybe a Body Press incoming? Should I Aerial Ace again? Probably not worth it. I don't want to get hit by Body Press. The way the Tapu Fini double switched, it makes me believe it's Calm Mind Tapu Fini which would lose to Sloking. Is that the idea? Uh, should I go to Corviknight? I feel like... Not the worst idea to go to Corviknight, maybe Brave Bird. Or Shifu Rapid, I don't really need, do I? Uh, let's go Urshifu Rapid. I doubt you would use a Grass-type move on me. Let's go to Urshifu Rapid here. Don't power with me. That's fine. Now we open up our Urshifu Rapid. We can U-turn, we can close combat. It's looking good. Let's U-turn. There we go, we get Feeny, now we go back to Kartana. Now, I think we have a free knockoff, don't we? Nothing switches into knockoff, and if Tapu Feeny gets knocked off, that's really bad for him. Anything that gets knocked off is going to be taking too much damage, so I feel like this is a free knockoff now. I don't think you would go to Pharaoh here, would you? I mean, if you go to Pharaoh, I'm happy. You go to Heatran, this is big, because now we're going to remove the air balloon for Garchomp. That's big damage, 68. Now another knockoff incoming. Nothing can switch in. And Weavile is looking good too. Not that good, but it's alright. Stealth Rock up for Zapdos Galar. It'll kill itself from recoil at this point. Knockoff here. Attack boost. You go to Coco. This is definitely using U-turn. Should I make a really ambitious play and knockoff? Okay, that worked too. Calm Mind. 69. <laughs> now, I feel like you definitely lose to... You definitely lose to Slokin Galar, right? Thunderbolt doing 34 only. Yeah, we can Sludge Bomb and I think we win the game. Yeah, I think we definitely win the game. You go to Pharaoh. We do have Flamethrower. We can reveal it now. There's no downside in revealing Flamethrower now. And you don't have a switch in. So if this is Combine Tapu Koku, this means it must have been... Trapping Tapu Fini, that is Whirlpool, Moonblast, Taunt, Nature's Madness, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, that's what I, I would think right now. He can't switch into the Flamethrower, nothing wants to take damage. Like, say he goes to Tapu Fini, he's taking- yeah, that's it, okay. You're gonna go to Zapdos Galar now. I can sacrifice Garchomp here, I do not need it anymore. Probably a close combat incoming, Brave Bird, okay. Uh, we can- Earthquake predicting a switch, because even if we die, we die like that. And I believe Slokin Galar wins the game now. Yeah, two fairy types are not going to do well enough. Yeah, that's not going to work. Sludge Bomb is going to knock you out here. Thunderbolt, 27. There we go. Now you go to Tapu Fini. I don't think... Yeah, this is the trapping set with Nature's Madness. Sludge Bomb, 57. Sludge Bomb again. And we're going to... Win game one of the series of the best of three. So GG, we win game one.
and we are going to start game two with using a team built around stored power Clefable, which is a really interesting set. It beats Volcarona, for example, so it's a really fun set with Calm Mind. So here, I really do wish I had Moonblast for Dragapult and Dragonite, but it's not totally bad because we do have Ice Shard Weavile. In fact, Ice Shard Weavile looks really good. I feel like I might see the Dragapult lead. We are especially defensive Lando, which is really good here. I feel like we can definitely lead with our Lando. It does, there's no real bad matchup for our Lando, besides maybe the Tapu Fini. We can definitely lead with our Lando here. So it's Defog, Corv, Stealth Rock, Lando, probably. Dragon Dance, Dragonite, I assume? Probably Dragon, Dragon Dance, right? Mel Metal, it could be Assault Vest, or it could be the Protective Pads, or it could be Choice Band as well. I do like my Zerora. If I can weaken the Lando, Zerora looks good. So you lead Corviknight, we're going to be able to get Stealth Rock up. U-turn, yeah, our rocks go up, and that is huge. Rocks going up is definitely huge. You go to Dragapult. So we are specially defensive Lando, and this could be Hydro Pump, which is really weird to me. Should I stay in on a Hydro Pump? I feel like I can, right? I feel like I can't. This is definitely Hydro Pump. Like, you don't use a Dracopult to beat a Lando unless it's like a Hydro Pump Lando. A Hydro Pump Dracopult, right? A Hydro Pump, we are specially defensive. How? We have 259, right? 252. Yeah. So Hydro Pump does not knock us out. But at the same time, Earthquake doesn't do enough damage, too. Um, I feel like Dracopult is not like a priority, right? Should we go to Pharaoh? What if he predicts Pharaoh, though? That's what I'm concerned about. What if he predicts the Pharaoh and uses Flamethrower? Okay, that worked out. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so now Corviknight comes back in. We can U-turn. He's probably going to Defog here. We can U-turn into Zerora. Defog comes in. We can knock off Corviknight's item, which is going to be huge. Or we can knock off Lando's item, which is also going to be huge. So that's going to be... A, you know, a win-win situation right now. And Corviknight can't really do much back to Zerora. Yeah, we do knock off Lando here. Uh, We can go to our own Lando, right? Get the Stealth Rock back up. Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock. If we trade Stealth Rock, I think I'm the one who's happy. Because I have Heavy Duty Boots, Zero. Heavy Duty Boots, Weavile. Magic Guard, Clefable. I think I'm the one who's happy if we trade Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock, Stealth Rock. Ooh, he misses the Toxic, which is really unfortunate. Um... I think I'll Toxic though. Yeah, that kind of sucks for him, but yeah, we both are going to get the Toxic traded off now. Unless he goes to Tapu Fini. But I feel like Stealth Rock is such a big deal for chipping stuff like Dragapult and Corviknight, even Lando now. And then soon we'll be able to get uh, Pharaoh Thorn in the game as well. In fact, Pharaoh has a really good matchup, so we're going to... Oh, he doesn't Toxic me, which I'm not... I think you should have tried to get the Toxic on Lando, I think. But now, how do you punish Tapu Fini? I mean, how, how does Tapu Fini punish me? Can it punish me? I do have a Pharaoh in the back with Power Whip, too. What do you go here? Like, I don't think you have. You go to Dragonite. Dragonite could be Ice Punch. We'll go to Pharaoh, I think, right? Or should we go to Slowbro? Um, this definitely has Ice Punch. Let's go Pharaoh. And. I feel like he's going to predict me. No, like, I'll never stay in here because I'm scared of Ice Punch, right? Let's just go Pharaoh, though. He does predict me. He goes to Mel Metal. It is Leftovers, okay? Let's just get a Leech Seed, right? Even if you superpower, it's not a big deal, right? Yeah, that's not a big deal, okay? Chip damage. Leech Seed damage, okay? We're healing back up. Uh, should we get a Spike up? Um, I don't know if we need a spike up, though. We can Thunder Wave, though. Or... That's good. That's really good. Now let's get a spike up. The Corv is probably going to U-turn. So it doesn't make sense to use a Leech Seed. Oh, it's faster, too. Okay. I did not expect that. I thought it would have been a slow Corviknight. But we are going to get a spike up. And you can't... He can't really beat Pharaoh, unfortunately. I don't think he can beat Pharaoh. Maybe he can try 
going to Lando here. At some point, Corv will have to try and defog the Pharaoh. So we'll see if he tries to do it, tries doing that at some point. But And he the good thing is he doesn't know Clefable doesn't have Moonblast, which can actually be a big deal later in the game. We'll see what happens though. I don't know what you would switch in. Maybe you go to Tapu Fini? No, no, you wouldn't go Fini. Oh, you do go Fini, okay. Now this is definitely setting up the switch back into Corviknight. So I could go Zerora and predict it, or I could play it safe and Power Whip. Yeah, I played it safe there. He's going to defog now. Um, I guess we can go to Zera then. He defogs. Uh, should we make a prediction? We could predict Lando and go to our Weavile, but not really worth it. We can just knock off here. Uh, I'm playing really safely right now because I feel like getting this chip damage is really good. Because over time, Zerora is going to win the game, I feel. He gets his Stealth Rock up. And look how much damage Lando is taking right now. Like, he's doing all this, but Lando is just, you know, racking up the damage. We're going to U-turn here, and now Zerora is really looking unstoppable right now. It's going to outspeed everything and hit everything really, really hard. Um, yeah, I think we U-turn for Chip, and we're going to get Iron Barb's Chip on him right now. There we go, Iron Barb's. Lando is now dead, unless he can defog. He goes to Dragapult, this definitely has Flamethrower. We can use Clefable now, if he Shadow Balls, good for him. U-turns, okay. Melmetal comes back in, we do have to be a little careful about how we play Melmetal. We do have a Slowbro, we can use, um... Let's try Slowbro. He uses Double Iron Bash. Let's go to Lando on the Thunder Punch. Okay, d did it work? Thunder Punch. There we go. Now we can U-turn, and because we have the Intimidate support on Melmetal, we're good to go. Now Zerora comes in. Now what do you do? I don't think you can take the Plasma Fist. Yeah, Zerora is going to be doing too much. Yeah, you can't take the Plasma Fist. I could have bulked up there. But I didn't want to uh, risk it, I guess. Let's just go Lando here. On maybe like a Thunder Punch or something. Um, do I need to do that? Yeah, let's go Lando. I don't think he's going to double Iron Bash here. Is he? Is he going to double Iron Bash? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Now he's probably going to Protect. We can go to Slowbro, for example. Uh, we can Teleport too. We have revealed Power Whip. Um, is he going to taunt? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought, okay. Yeah, and we go back to Zera. There's no switch in to Plasma Fist anymore because Lando is gone. There's no switch in anymore. Dragonite takes 23. Do we knock off the Dragonite now? And permanently remove the Heavy Duty Boots? I feel like even if he has Earthquake, it's worth it to remove that. Even if it has Earthquake. 33, removed. Roost, okay, definitely worked out. Uh, can we go to Pharaoh? I think we can, right? Now we can Thunder Wave the Dragonite. I think... I don't think these run Substitute, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now we have to be careful. Now we have to be careful. Okay. So Clefable does not win... Does Clefable win 1v1? Oh, this is tough. This is really tough. Okay. Let's open up the calc now. Dragonite. Offensive dragon. It could be defensive, but we'll assume offensive. Weavile. Ice Shard does 40 to 48. Which gets doubled because multi-scale is gone. I think I go to Slowbro, right? I future sight and then I teleport into Weavile, I think. Right? So do I slack off or do I teleport first? I slack off first, now I teleport. And now Future Sight plus Ice Shard will be enough. Okay. Dragonite take the damage. There we go, and I think Ice Shard should be enough now. But what if it's defensive Dragonite? Then I'm in trouble. 
uh, right? Because it's doubling to 80 to 96, but if it's defensive, it might be able to live the hit. But I feel like, I, I don't know, is this offensive or defensive? I don't think it'll be like a defensive Dragon Dance, right? I think he's definitely calking right now to see if he lives the hit or not. But because we, yeah, he doesn't live the hit, and because we removed the heavy duty boots, that's actually really good. Uh, let's just go Pharaoh. Hopefully, something good will happen. Okay, that's something good. He's definitely going to double Iron Bash again, right? I feel like maybe I just sack Pharaoh. Okay, don't don't knock me out. Don't don't. Okay, good, good, good. Unfreeze. No unfreeze, okay. We did get enough chip damage though. We got like so much chip damage. Um So this doesn't have Earthquake. Does Bulk Up Zerora win immediately? I feel like it can, right? I feel like Bulk Up Zerora can definitely win immediately, right? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we win. Yeah, Bulk Up Zerora will win. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now we win. Yeah, there's no Scarfer on the team. Corviknight, let's knock you off. Yeah, there's no Scar- Oh, what if it's Scarf Jackapult? You think it's Scarf Jackapult? There's no way it's Scarf Jackapult, right? You go to Dragonite, yeah. This is going to get knocked out too. There we go, now- Yeah, we win the game now. Yeah, definitely, we win the game now. Yeah, close combat. Maybe you can try and PP stall close combat with protect, but yeah, I think maybe that's the plan. Yeah, but we're going to win. The key was removing Lando. Removing Lando meant that Zerora was basically going to win. There we go. Knock off to remove Dracopult, and we win. So that's really good stuff. And yeah, if you like this type of live content, we move on to round five of the official Smogon tournament, which is one of the bigger tournaments on Smogon. And yeah, if you want to see more of this, uh, just let me know.